a revelation in the trucking industry involving Tesla. The UAW expands its strike to Louisville, and Toyota takes another step towards a breakthrough in EVs. Good morning, I'm Tiara Riddick and welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first... In a real-world test of electric trucks, the Tesla Semi has made quite an impression, showcasing its initial performance advantages. Tesla Semi outshined its counterparts from established manufacturers like Freightliner and Volvo, particularly in range and charging efficiency during an event organized by the North American Council for Freight Efficiency. The event not only silenced Tesla skeptics, but it also shattered preconceived notions about the limits of electric trucking revealing that EV trucks can seamlessly match operations of their diesel counterparts with drivers using chargers throughout the day. For more on this story, head over to autonews.com. Now, in a surprising turn of events, the UAW has escalated their strike against Ford, bringing the automotive giant's largest assembly lines to a standstill. After nearly four weeks of striking the Detroit three automakers, the UAW made a significant move. This time, their target was the profitable Kentucky truck plant. The announcement delivered via social media stated the strike was effective immediately, citing Ford's reluctance to progress in negotiations. Kentucky Truck, which is one of two Ford assembly plants in Louisville, employs roughly 8,700 workers. For more on this story, head over to autonews.com. In its quest for electric vehicle innovation, Toyota is taking a monumental stride towards a breakthrough in solid-state batteries. The world's largest automaker has joined forces with Irimitsu Kosan, a Japanese petrochemical giant, to develop mass production methods for the crucial battery electrolyte. This collaboration aims to commercialize advanced battery technology, setting a timeline for, quote, full-scale mass production between 2027 to 2028. And finally, Victory Automotive has reached a settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice. Under the terms of the agreement, the group will pay a total of $9 million, including more than $16 million allocated to a former whistleblower employee. The settlement arises from allegations that Victory misrepresented itself as a small business when applying for a substantial paycheck protection program loan, totaling nearly $6.3 million. To find out more, head to autonews.com. Thanks for watching. For breaking news, stay with autonews.com. Have a great day.